Hi, my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I'm super excited. I'm recording outside today. I'm actually on vacation, uh, but I wanted to review these guys so that I could get that video out sooner. And so I'm gonna be trying out some vegan yogurt today. And I found this at a local co-op uh, near where we live. And this is Coco Yo, and it is a living coconut yogurt. It is also gluten-free and non-GMO, and I've had these sitting in my fridge for a while, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to get them done if I don't do them while I'm on vacation. And also, who doesn't love some good yogurt? So that's why I'm eating them today. But I grabbed three different flavors. This one is the most interesting by far. This is the ginger turmeric. And then this one is raspberry, which I'm really excited for. And then I also grabbed some vanilla. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try all I also have horses in the background. <laughs> so if they make noise in the video, you know why. But I'm gonna go ahead and try all three of these and let you know what I think. Really quickly though, I'm gonna read off the nutrition information for at least the ginger turmeric. If you wanna know about the other two, let me know in the comments below. But they're all pretty, pretty similar. There's like very minor differences, like a few numbers in either direction. So just let me know in the comments below if you wanna know about the other two. But one serving size is half a cup and there are two servings per container. It has 90 calories, six grams of total fat, five grams of total carbs, which is 2% of your daily value, zero grams of dietary fiber, two grams of sugars, and one gram of protein. And I'm super excited to try this out because I love everything coconut. I thought these flavors sounded really, really yummy. I love trying new things, but also like the fact that it's got like living probiotics is really helpful because I don't have the best gut bacteria. So having stuff like this is really, really nice. Over 20 years ago, I fell in love with the living qualities of fermented foods. I quickly discovered the unique and active properties were unlike anything found in most packaged offerings. Our new line of Coco Yo is a continuation of this love affair and our mission to bring more living foods into your everyday life. Coco Yo is a tangy, lightly effervescent experience that reimagines coconut yogurt through a delicate fermentation. Each jar is thoughtfully cultured with probiotics to create a living and vital food that helps support healthy digestion. It also says to keep refrigerated and to shake gently. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake this on and then I'm gonna try it out. Might as well start with the most interesting flavor. All you have to do is twist it in order to open it. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit. It's weird with being outdoors, the lighting is so different. I'm also gonna stir it up a little bit too since this has been sitting in my fridge for a little bit. Kinda, hopefully you guys can see this. But we're gonna go ahead and try it. Here we go. Very tangy, whoa. Ooh was not expecting that. I feel like I would use this as like, you know how you use some yogurts and recipes? I feel like this is more a recipe yogurt than a eat it straight yogurt. <laughs> I mean, it's got some really fun, interesting flavors, but it's very tangy. Like I could see using this for like, in, like vegan Indian food recipes, but I don't know about like eating it by itself. It's got like a earthy tone to it. There's some turmeric, there's some ginger, some tang. Not as much coconut as I thought there was gonna be. It's also got little bits in it. I think this is really good if you're using it in a recipe. I don't want you to think that I don't think it's good. Like I think it's it's nice. Also the texture is not like very creamy. You got those little bumpy guys in there. But I think the flavors would work really nicely if you were like eating some veggies in there and you also had some like non bread or something like that and you were scooping it up and like eating it that way. I think this would work really, really beautifully that way. But let's go for some of the sweeter flavors. Another thing is I'm not really a big fan of like tangy yogurts necessarily. Like when I, ooh. When I try yogurt, oh, this one's like exploding on me. Probiotics got to this one. Well, I'm glad I didn't shake this one. So I'm just gonna stir this. So if you're gonna pick these up from the store, I would recommend eating them in the next few days because I did let mine sit for a little bit, but this is before the best buy date. So they're very much not expired. Um, and I have not opened them prior to this video. I forgot what I was saying before that happened. <laughs> Maybe it'll come up later, but here is the raspberry flavor, I believe, yes. Very tangy, which I have to get around because like the raspberry flavor is very yummy. I mean, I think I could do this one again. I just wish the tang wasn't as strong. It's like as if they put pop in with it, you know, and I'm not, I'm not really liking that bit. Like bubbly water can have like a tanginess to it. I don't know how to describe it. I don't like LaCroix and that type of food, bubbly, that or those type of drinks. And it kind of is reminding me of that a little bit. So far guys, I'm just so-so on these. I think they're definitely for some people, but I think this is what I was saying. I'm not a big fan of tangy yogurts. I like something that is sweet and creamy. Follow Your Heart has some really, really delicious yogurts. I usually do uh, So Delicious ones. 
which are coconut based as well and they're very much creamy and sweet they don't got this like tanginess to them see the longer i'm eating this one the more i'm getting used to it i feel like i could finish this one like eating it by itself last but not least we have the vanilla we're gonna shake it up a bit this one's not sloshing around like the first one did that makes me nervous so it's gonna be like the second one and explode on me no exploding so far so good this one actually looks the creamiest out of the, all three of them Sorry I didn't do this for like all of them guys, but this one actually looks kind of creamy. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, see, okay. I think I like this one enough. Again, it still feels like it's sort of got like pop mixed with yogurt. When you put it in your mouth, at first you get a blast of tangy and then that subsides and then you get the flavor of the yogurt. And I just kind of want this without that tanginess because I think the second part tastes good. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about these, you guys. I think there are other vegan yogurts I would choose over these. However, I like the fact that they have living probiotics in there, which made the raspberry one a little dangerous. If I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I would buy these again. I have to force myself to eat it a little bit. And I don't want a yogurt like that. You know, I want something that's going to be enjoyable. I don't know what I would rate these. I mean, if it's something, if you like tangy flavors, I think you would love this because it very much is tang and then the flavor, which I think some people would generally really really love and I think if you like more of those sparkling flavored water drinks you probably wouldn't be as affected by the tang as I am I think the vanilla and the raspberry flavoring that I was getting was good and if I could just take out the tang and maybe change up the texture a little bit because the texture is kind of weird then I'd be fine this one I very much would get again if I knew it'd work with the recipe I think it would work really well with Indian food and I'm sure this is tangier because it sat in my fridge for a little bit it might not be as tangy if you eat it as soon as you get it from the grocery store. So I'm sure that plays in a part because I know it's probably similar to kombucha in that way where like the longer you let it sit, the tangier it gets. So I'm sure that is kind of similar. So it might be different if this is like first day from the store and eat it like, don't do a whole spoonful, eat a little bit at a time. And then it takes down the tang a little bit. I can tell they're a good product. It's just, they're, they're not the flavor notes that I prefer. I hope you guys enjoyed this outside review video. Let me know if you want to see more content like this where I film it outdoors. I'm not going to lie. It makes me a little bit nervous. Like this whole entire time I've been waiting for somebody to walk out and for me to feel really uncomfortable, even though it's like totally fine, but I would do it for you guys. <laughs> But let me know in the comments below if this seems like something that would be really, really intriguing to you. If you would like the tangier notes of this, or if you're on the same boat as me where like the texture and the tanginess are just like a nope, you wouldn't do it. Also let me know if you've had these before, the raspberry one, is that is that a normal thing? Or is that just like, I let it sit in my fridge for a little bit too long and I should have eaten it a little bit sooner. But other than that, if you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all my future content. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.